Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. What we're going to have a look at today is bouncing or exporting to turn a MIDI file into audio. So, where are we? Well, we've got a copy of uh, Drum Kit from Hell Superior loaded up. Um, biggest kit that I've got, which has got a uh, snare, lots of toms, and as you can probably see, quite a few cymbals. Uh, now, if you look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that this is using 910 mega RAM. Uh, why am I mentioning that, you might ask? Well, I'll come back to that into a, in a second, but it's uh, one of the reasons that you might consider bouncing MIDI down for audio is to help you preserve the amount of RAM you've got available to you. So, in our arrange page, we've got a MIDI file, which sounds like this. Okay, bog standard drum loop, that's fairly straightforward. So how do you turn this MIDI into an audio loop? Well, it's pretty straightforward actually. File menu, then export, and then if you look at the export menu, you've got quite a few options here. So track as audio file, which will delete, uh, it delete, which will export everything in a track and turn it into an audio file. All tracks as audio file, which is not what we're going to discuss today, but is worth mentioning because it's very useful. All tracks as audio files is if you've got a project and you want to take it to another studio to mix or to do some overdubs and they maybe don't have the same soft synths as you and you want to make sure you've got all of the files consolidated nice and neatly so you can take them all in one folder and just drop them into somebody else's project. Um, that works really well if you're going from a Logic project to a Pro Tools project or to a Cubase project because obviously you can't just export a Logic song and open it up in Pro Tools. Uh, but we'll come back to that maybe in another tutorial if anyone's interested. Track as audio file we've already explained. We want region as audio file. But as you look in this menu here, you'll see it's greyed out. So if we click on the actual region and then go back to our file menu, export region as audio file. So let's click that and see what happens. Okay, so you get a <clears throat> fairly standard, excuse me for coughing there, a logic um, export box. You've got a couple of options here, save format, which are audio file formats, SD2 is an older Apple uh, audio file format, AF tends to be standard for Mac, and WAV tends to be standard for PC. I'm pretty much using WAV all the time for everything these days because you never know where your files are going to end up and more compatibility is always better. Then you've got the bit depth, um, 8 bit, 16 bit, 24 bit or 32 bit. Quite a big discussion what bit depth is. Um, for now, I'll just say most of the time when I'm recording, I use 24 bit. I think it's the best compromise of size and quality. Uh, and then finally, a tick box here at the bottom. Add resulting files to audio bin. Dead useful because that's going to put it in our under our media tab up here. So it'll be nice and easy to find in a minute. And I'm just going to choose a bounce location for it by browsing. Uh, so let's put this in the same folder as we're putting the video in. Logic 8 bouncing and we'll just call this drum loop for now. I'd suggest you think of more unique names when you do your bounces, so it makes the files nice and easy to find. I tend to put something like the song title and today's date, maybe even the time in there, so I always know where the files are and I can always get them back nice and easily. Okay, so if you set it up, give it a name, do your selections as we've discussed, click the Save button, and we're exporting. Okay, so if we now go to our media browser, drumloop.wav. It's sitting there ready to go. We can drag that onto the Arrange page. Uh, in the best traditions of cookery TV shows, I've made some audio tracks earlier. So let's have another quick listen to that MIDI loop so we're familiar with it. Okay, and this time we'll mute the MIDI and just play the audio. And as you can hear, for all intents and purposes, they are exactly the same. 